without the wind sock. With the wind sock. Okay, so let's talk about wind. And wind is one of those things outdoors, those of us who are fishing, hunting, or anything like that, you gotta have a way to chop the wind or else your videos are gonna sound gross. This is what it looks like. How do you make one? Go get some fabric fusion, all alliens or whatever. It's like fabric glue. It'll glue fabric together. It takes forever to dry, but it works. And you need to buy some crafting foam and you just cut out a rectangle, put it together, put this fabric adhesion on it and it just works. Let it dry for about a day or two. Any microphone, you can use this for shotgun microphones, for lavalier microphones, for if you have a little um, handheld recorder that you could do the same thing with it. There's plenty of videos on YouTube to show you how to make it. See? So you'll want some kind of internal support. Now what that was was a little piece of screen, uh, plastic screening that I have. I got it from the same company that I get my uh, slinky weight material from. And, uh, and I, it's just a simple roll. It fits the microphone perfectly. If you don't have that, some people will use a inner lining of old stockings or something like that. You know, so, and so that way the, um, the actual microphone is separated from the actual filter and keeps that wind from directly hitting the tube there on the microphone. Buy some fabric, go to Walmart. You should be able to find this at Walmart or go to a fabric store ask them if they have any fabric glue or fabric adhesion. They should have some crafting fur or some sort of almost furry carpet-like material. Probably find it in the camouflage section or something like that for, you know, for guys who are making blinds and things. And it doesn't have to be perfectly square and blimp shaped and all that. No, just rectangular designed to fit over the end of your microphone and glue it all together. Uh, with an inner lining of some sort of stocking or some sort of material like I have and you'll have a great way to chop the wind on windy days like this when you're out recording in the field.